Looks like I ain't got no glasses on. It's kind of cool, but kind of weird at the same time because all you see is these lines on the side of my face. Woo! Let's try these. Oh, I look like a librarian. Or a bookworm. Or one of the kids that sit right up in front of the class as a tattletale. I want to answer all the questions before anybody else do. Okay, we're gonna put these back on. Because we ain't no tattletale today. Hey guys, I know you're like, wait, what? Who is this on my screen? I know, long time no see. You guys are about to get a vlog. Let's see, <laughs> let's see how we're gonna start this. When was the last vlog? Like September or something like that? I just wasn't in the mood to vlog. Um, I know like there's some times where I will vlog and then I will disappear for a month or two and I think this time I disappeared for like three months I want to say yeah it's been three months and I don't know if any of you guys watching this make videos whether it's vlogging or beauty related videos inspirational videos any type of videos that you make I don't know if any of you guys um, make videos but you start to how can I say this you start to compare yourself and I know you shouldn't do that but I think every youtuber does it whether they have one subscriber or one million subscribers you go through this this little rut of of comparing yourself and it's you guys tell me all the time we love watching you we love watching your family please don't stop making the videos but as the person on the other end of the camera the person in front of the camera you start to feel like your vlogs are boring and i didn't want to feel like i was doing the same thing every day and I'm like, it's not exciting. I watch all these other family vloggers and they're doing this and they're doing that. And I felt like I didn't even want to watch my videos. You know how you get tired of hearing your own voice, which that's true, but I didn't even want to watch my videos. And I'm like, people want to watch this? Are they just saying that they want to watch it to be nice? Or are they really, do they really like it? So I just backed off and didn't make videos anymore. And, um... But I, I filmed a little bit. Like I would film here and there. I filmed a little bit in September, a little bit in October. I don't think I filmed anything in November. And then I start picking back up in December, which I have some that, that December is not going to be in this video that you're going to see. I think this stops in October. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't vlog at all in, in November. Yeah, I was just thinking. I was like, no, I don't remember vlogging at all in November. But I put a little compilation together of what was on my phone. Because you guys know that I record on my phone. And um, let's see what we got first. <laughs> Back in September, uh, we had went to church. And we've gone to church, I think, about two more times after that. But I didn't record it. So this is just a couple of times that we went. I, well, this is the one time that I recorded that we went. So we went to church. I show you what I wore which was so uncomfortable because your girl likes wearing a sweatshirt and sweatpants all the time. That's like my zhuzh. Who says that? Who say that's my zhuzh? Jerusha, I watch her videos. Um, she's an Australian YouTuber. So it's like, that's not my zhuzh. This is my zhuzh.
then I also did um, Peapod. You guys know I love my Peapod because going to the grocery store can take like over an hour. I'm usually in there for over an hour if I'm doing some real grocery shopping. If I'm just getting something from here or there or picking up something for to finish the meal, then I could be out of it in 20 minutes. That's still a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're going to do Peapod. And Peapod is when you sit down on your couch or on your bed in your chair and you go online and you shop up and down the aisles on the computer. You hit order and you hit, do you hit delivery or do you hit buy? You hit one of them green buttons and they deliver it to your house within 24 hours or you can set it for them to deliver it up to a week later. You can do it like a week out, something like that. And they deliver it right to your house. You don't even gotta go downstairs to get it. They bring it right up to your door, girlfriend, because we live on the second floor where we live. So just bring it right on up to your door, girlfriend, and you will also you sign and you done. <laughs> love it, love Peapod. If Peapod wants to sponsor me, <laughs> but we love Peapod up in these streets. <laughs> then we had Lizzie's birthday. <laughs> My girl is finally four. I feel like she's been three forever. I feel like I've been saying she was three for like three years like no it really feel like she's been three for two years really but she's four I'm going on 14 yeah I have a teenager now <laughs> you know like when you have a four or five year old it feels like you got a teenager <laughs> yeah that's what I got on her birthday we didn't really do much because she woke up feeling sick and she was like mommy I really don't feel good and and then and I said what it's supposed to be like mommy and me day for your birthday like this is like well you could pick whatever you want to do and except for fly to the moon no, I'm just playing but it's like you could do whatever you want to do and she was like no I really don't feel too good so she was like a baby for the day and then um but I got her all dressed I said you still need to get dressed maybe you'll feel better so it was just her and I and she opened her presents and she ate her cake and everything her, do you know I must not have felt good either because when I went to the store to get my mama Sita's cake tell me why I told them to put an S in her name instead of a Z you, I, I don't know what was going on in my mind that day because the lady said what are you getting I said I want a birthday cake and I said these are all you have and she was like yeah that's all we have right now because I kind of wanted a big one but I'm glad I didn't get a big one like I wanted it square don't know why I always associate birthday cakes with square cake but so she said no we got a cute round one here and I was like okay I like that I got a little red on the side because I didn't want like big balloons on one there because it looked kind of babyish and I didn't want it to have all these weird colors so I said, oh, that's pretty. I got roses. And she said, what do you want to say? I want to say happy birthday, Elizabeth. And she was like, oh, okay, is it an S or a Z? I said, oh, it's an S. <laughs> and didn't think nothing of it. And right when she was handing it back to me, I was like, why did I say S? Looked down at the cake and said, oh, Jesus, I done spelled my baby's name wrong. So I had to go and fix that. And I didn't want to tell the lady, oh, you spelled her name wrong. I want another cake. I was just like, I'm just going to say thank you and walk right over to the aisle where I can get my own frosting and scrape off the S and put on a Z. <laughs> yeah. girl you know it ain't it ain't a vlog without Lizzie telling some kind of crazy story this girl is like a storyteller I say she need to write books or be an actress something because this girl came up with the most outlandish story I'm like what are you talking about so she was just on a whole nother level I'm like okay Lizzie <laughs> hey everybody today is my birthday Four. But y'all, she keeps doing this thing to her mouth. No, don't show it like that. Oh, real? She said don't show it. Well, they can see it because you're talking. Oh, 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 look at her. Look at her. She said y'all can't see her with imperfection. Mommy, and it take is a, a ladybug. Take a picture of the ladybug. Okay. She wants y'all to see this ladybug right there. 
It go another way. Yeah. I don't know why. Mommy's gonna have good luck because that ladybug touched me on my shirt. It got on my shirt. It gave you good luck. Yeah, it's good luck, girlfriend. I heard a uh, ladybug never give you good luck. Who told you that? An unlucky they, person. <laughs> no, they give you bad luck. No, they don't. Ladybugs are so precious. But what about if they bite you? I never had a or ladybug. What? What is that? A vampire ladybug? Then it makes everybody go crazy about each other. Oh, so people get bit in the neck and then they start going crazy about each other? Yeah, because they keep biting each other and saying who did what they did. Keep going to my wrestling right there. Oh, 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 look, 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 she having fits, y'all, she having fits. It looked like you got bit by a ladybug. And mommy, what about that way go, but go all the way over there on the floor? No, I think she's going upstairs to, to give good luck to our neighbors above us. Maybe they'll stop stomping. But good luck are going to give the neighbors up there. They should give them bad luck. She's not going to give them bad luck. Maybe she'll, she'll get, hit them with a spell and, and they'll, they'll float across the floor instead of stomping. So, so Krita, what? she didn't open her presents yet, but let's see. W what did you ask mommy for for your present for your birthday? A timer. She wants a timer. And I'm like, what in the world? A timer? She's like, I'm going to show you. So we went on Amazon and she showed me what she wanted. And you guys will see it when she opens it. Where was the ladybug? She flew up there. Oh, she climbed up there. She's going now. She's she's off to, to spread love to the next person. You mean good luck. Yeah, good luck. luck. Mommy, yeah. what that mean? And this is how you hurt yourself. Wait, when I, when I do my imagination, I, I see death through my eyes flying all around me. She said when I use my imagination, <laughs> I see things flying all around. That's called being dizzy. <gasps> Mommy, look. I think that's going to collect all the cars. Uh-oh. It's a bad guy trying to crush down the cars. What? Is a bad guy trying to crush cars? Oh yeah, her imagination is all over the place. <laughs> There's nobody over there, y'all. There's nothing. I told her she needs to write a books because her imagination is out of this world. Mommy, I'm going to write a book about no bad guys because I just saw something for me. <laughs> You're crazy, Greta. Like a flying bad guy. Oh, Jesus. Like a butterfly flying bad guy. Your girl just was out of nowhere just I guess I, I couldn't sleep one night that's like every night but I couldn't sleep but I had energy usually when I can't sleep I'm still like lazy <laughs> you know how when you're just laying in bed or laying on a couch or whatever and you can't fall asleep but you're still like lazy and you either like watch TV or you go on your phone which you shouldn't do that because you need to let your brain turn off so you can fall asleep 
But this time, I, I couldn't fall asleep, but I had all this energy. So your girl wanted to clean her sneakers. Like, <laughs> what the heck is that? So I just started cleaning my sneakers. The whole house was asleep, except for me. Huh. Now I'm about to clean some of my sneakers because these sneakers right here are filthy. The parts that are light gray, girl, they look black. On the camera, they look clean, look brand new, but don't let that fool you because these things is dirty. And so, while everybody asleep, I'm about to go clean these sneakers. I should be asleep too, but you know how that go. This is the before. And this is the after. I swear they look like two different shoes. This is a shame. And look at that. You all dusty and scratched up over there and looking all And then on this side, you look a whole lot better. But yeah, I'm working hard y'all, working hard. I'm using toothpaste and laundry detergent. The Tide. So what is it, Tide Ultra? Yeah, Tide Ultra in um, Crest or Colgate toothpaste. I'll show you. Hold on. I'm using um, the Tide Ultra stain release with a little bit of the Colgate Optic White on an old toothbrush. Yep, trying to get it clean, y'all. You can tell I'm bored. Girl, look at that mess. Then, I, I don't know why I be vlogging the stupidest things. Like, I vlog cleaning my sneakers. So this is what I'm talking about. I don't want my vlogs to be boring. I'm just vlogging the most randomest things. So then, I vlog my nails, girl. This don't make no sense. So, as you can see, my nails are short now. Well, they, I could see it past the free edge. <laughs> but, um, they were super long. And then I cut them, because being a mom with some long nails, that's... that's that is not realistic. And I bought a whole bunch of nail polish trying to do all these little crazy designs. I got deep into the nail side of YouTube. You know how you start off watching your favorite vloggers or favorite YouTubers? Then you start to go off into the videos that they recommend. Then you go off into those videos. Those videos. And then you either on the weird side of YouTube, like on the crazy side of YouTube, or you're on a side that you shouldn't be on because it's going to cause you to shop, you know? So I was buying a whole bunch of nail stuff. Hmm. And then tell me why, like, two weeks later, I cut my nails. But they'll grow again. But I think I'm going to keep them this length. I just got to get these two to catch up. But Lizzie says she wants her nails to stay long. And that girl got some long nails now. But I try to file them down and she keeps saying, No, I want them to be long like you. And I said, Ha, ta da, I cut mine. And then she was like, What? She still wants her nails to stay a little long. She wants me to paint them green. So I'm going to paint, we're going to paint nails later today. I think I might even record that. That won't be in this vlog, but that'll be some, some for the next vlog. Right. So, you guys, I hope this vlog wasn't boring. It's just a whole bunch of like random clips that came out of nowhere. Yeah, uh, I got to get back into the to, to the spirit because I have not vlogged like, you know, like whipped out the camera for like three months. Like I, I've, I've taken the camera out for little clips that y'all saw, but I mean like to really take the camera out, you know, and give you like an hour and a half of a footage like I did before. Um, but to give y'all some long, at least my vlogs are usually like 15 plus minutes. Um, but I, I, I got to get back into it. I got to get back into the mojo, you know. And um, so I don't even know what to record. And I'm like a squirrel looking out the window. It snowed the other day. That ain't in the vlog. I don't think so. No, that ain't in it. And then let's see. I don't know what I want to record in, in videos because I feel like I do the same thing over and over and over again. But uh, my hair grew. My fluff is getting bigger. Um, my skin is clearing up a little bit, except for under here. This is just so doggone stubborn. And when I get stressed, although I think they say stress is, is stress up here, stress acne right here or up here. I think if you're dehydrated, it's up here. If this is stress down here, like hormones, like st and stress can set off your hormones on a crazy, crazy roller coaster. But if this is where hormones and stress and all that nonsense is, maybe that's why I keep breaking out so much. I break out, I clear it up. It breaks out again. Your girl's just going through it right now. So we got this right here. It's not right. But 
I hope I don't come off like sleepy or like huh like that because I am kind of tired I'm always tired I want to record this for you before the sun went down because it is what time is it 3 37 and the sun goes down at like 4 30 here like that's depressing like what happened to the nights where in the in the summertime the sun would go down at like six and then in the winter time the sun in the winter time let me rephrase that in the winter time the sun would go down at like six and then in the summertime the sun would go down at like nine o'clock like what happened to those days it's like is the sun burning out or something it don't last like it should like the sun be going down like super early like but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please enjoy it. It's like just playing no but I don't know, I just really get this this feeling that my vlogs are boring. I don't know why. And it's like I'm getting in this rut of comparing myself and you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't compare yourself at all. And that's not just with vlogging, that's with anything. If you have a talent and and or a love for something, like don't don't compare yourself in the negative way. Like look at someone and be inspired by them don't look at someone and and compare yourself and bash yourself because of them and i think that's what i was doing like i would look at vloggers or look at instagrammers and be like they got it they got that jam that's right and i'm boring and i hate that i get so many comments that i'm inspiring people and like if i'm inspiring people how am i boring you know so it's like i got sometimes i look at your comments all over again and and get that get that feeling back in me I don't know maybe like 2018 hopefully this will be this will be the year because 2017 oh, that's all I'm gonna say is 2017 oh, that's all I'm gonna say and that's like what everybody like family members say is 2017 gonna hurry up and be over and then I see people on YouTube and Instagram and people at work you know like just people in your life and they'd be like, dang, is 2017 going to be over yet? For real. I think this is like the test. This is like the test, you know? And I feel like God gives his, God gives the biggest test to his warriors and his soldiers. And it's like, you can't call yourself a survivor if you didn't survive anything, you know? I ain't going to cry. You know? Lizzie and I got a sign from God the other day. Well, it wasn't the other day. It was like a couple weeks ago. But, you know, it's like, it feels like a couple days ago just on the vlog, but you guys will see it. And it's like, I know 2018 is going to be good. Just got to get there, you know? Don't let anything, like, tear you down. And just, if you didn't learn anything from this video, just don't compare yourself to people. Because it can, it's like, it's like a soul breaker. You know how something like, oh, that's a deal breaker for me. And, you know, Lizzie does this now mom that I, I learned that I taught myself she goes like that and I'm like well, where did you learn this from like comparing yourself is a soul breaker it's like dang like don't get in that rut of comparing yourself like if you feel yourself comparing yourself just like I gotta snap out of it I gotta snap out of it you know but I don't want to hold y'all too long on this video everything will be okay we are okay like everyone kept saying how are you doing? Are you okay? We haven't heard for you in a long time. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm really good. It's just the only thing is that I start comparing myself to people. Don't compare yourself to others. I think that's what I'm going to name this video. Yeah, just don't compare yourself to others. Because like I said, it's a soul breaker. And don't break your soul. Okay? So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I need to go before I start crying. I don't know why I'm going to cry. And so until next time, try to make somebody smile because that may be the only time they smile today. And it was because of you. Bye.
Congo. God put it there. I've never saw a rainbow like that before. Yeah, I see a rainbow. Whoa. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be good. You better believe it. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be good. Get that understood. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be good. You better believe it. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be good. Get that understood.